Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install a Nest third gen thermostat. If you thought this video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. So first thing you want to do is check your old thermostat. We had a Honeywell and make sure that your system is compatible with Nest's system. Not all systems are compatible. So you can do this by going to their website and checking, basically you, you check going through this little uh, screens here. Um, and it'll tell you basically if your system's compatible. I actually talked to somebody there too, they're at their support and they were able to give me a wiring diagram of for, for my exact system for these letters. And I'll show you that system a little bit later. So as you can see, mine is compatible. Um, if you have a high voltage, high voltage system, so any of these things, then your system won't be compatible. So just be aware of that. So once you figure that out, first thing you wanna do is turn your breaker off that controls the thermostat. And then go ahead and take your thermostat off. I know you see the numbers is because we have it's battery powered, so it's off, but the numbers are still there. This is where you can actually check on the back of the thermostat if it's a four, if it's a what voltage it is. Um, and this is our our wiring diagram. So in our case, the numbers or the letters and the colors up happen to match the nest. So we didn't actually put the labels on the wires, but you can do that if you want to. So we're just making the wires a little bit straighter before we take them out, so it's a little bit easier to work with. Then go ahead and take the, the mounts off or the, those screws so you can get the wires out of your old thermostat. And then here's the wiring diagram that I got from Nest for our specific uh, thermostat. And so, the, like I said, the colors and the letters match, so that's why we didn't label it. So then go ahead and once you've taken the wires out, take your old backing plate off. And once you do that, then go ahead and measure the nest and make sure it's straight. There's a built-in level at the top there. So we marked the couple pieces, uh, the couple, the mounting points, and then go ahead and drill small holes for those. Or you can just use the the actual screws because they are um, self self sticking. So you can do that if you want. So once we measured it up, put the top one in, and then make, made sure it was level, and then screw the bottom one bottom one in tight. And then go ahead and put your wires into the correct letters. So you want to push the buttons down, and then insert the wire. Uh, and the button should stay down if you've done it correctly. And make sure that you've got three eighths, uh, three eighths of an inch of wire sticking out so you can mount it in there correctly. Once you've done that, go ahead and push the wires back so it's flat inside the, uh, the space in the middle. And then mount the display so the Nest logo should be straight up and down and you should be able to push it on. This is what you're gonna see. Wait a little, a few, a few seconds and you'll see the home button. And then go ahead and follow the settings screens to set up the nest and then of course you want to you know set it up on your phone as well so you can do that after and then that's basically it uh, we got a working thermostat it works great so if you thought this video was helpful don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and thanks for watching